one of, or maybe the most badass looking Tamiya car of all time. Hey guys, welcome back to Tamiya Legends and once again thank you for stopping by. So in today's video we're going to have a look at this new arrival, the Tamiya Super Hot Shot, better known as the Super Shot from back in the day. Um, for me this video is going to be full of my personal sort of memories and nostalgia about this kit because I've got a very different take on this kit um, and I'll explain the reasons why. But before we do that I'd just like to give a massive thank you to Your RC for sponsoring today's video. Um, as I'm hoping the majority of you will know now, um, Your RC have given us a 5% discount promo code. Um, I'll link all the details and the Your RC website in this video's description. Um, you might as well use that saving if we've got it. And also Your RC can be found on all the normal social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Right then, so before we take the lid off this, I need to explain to you why I think this is just such one of the baddest looking Tamiya cars of all time in my opinion. I'm not saying it's my favourite, the Avanti's got that slot, but just for something that looks aggressive, this is the one for me. Now, this all stems back from how I thought about this car back in the day. I never had one, and bear in mind it was called the Super Shot, not Super Hot Shot back then. So, as we know, the original Hot Shot came out in 1985. Um, now, here's what I thought. I thought the next variant was a Hot Shot 2, and then the third variant of this chassis was a Super Shot. And I spent many years, if not almost a majority of the years, um, believing that. So, this, in my mind, was the all singing, all dancing, and last variant of the Hot Shot. Um, it was only until very recently, to be honest, I think it was about 2016, maybe 17, where I actually found out the Super Shot was actually the second car. So we did it in a three year spell. So we did 85 original Hot Shot, 86 Super Shot, and 87 Hot Shot 2. That never made sense in my mind, because obviously, if you know the original Hot Shot, it's got a mono shock front and back. Then, as I thought, the Hot Shot 2 comes out with the different um, box art scheme, dual shocks on the back, still single mono on the front. And then, obviously, the all singing, all dancing Super Hot Shot comes out with yellow CVAs, um, dual shocks front and back, fully ball race kit. Even came with the gorgeous Tamiya Technipower motor in the kit. I was that's that's how I thought about it, and and when I learned it was actually or actually the second chassis and not the sort of all singing all dancing third chassis, I was really disappointed. But nevertheless, I've never been able to shake that. So that's why this kit or this particular car, I, I hold it in such high regret, high regard, if that makes sense. Um, now also, a lot of you guys who are new to Tamiya are just really used to re rees coming out all the time. And as we're progressing nowadays, it's getting more and more each year. But Riri, when you for someone like me who who dabbled in the hobby on and off for most of my life, the these were cars that you never thought you would see again. And there's always two examples that stick out: the Super Shot and the Egress. Back in I don't know when, let's say early two thousands to up to two thousand and ten. These cars were like rocking horse poo, the originals, and obviously there was never ever thought of a re re. Just trying to build an egress from parts was just nigh on impossible. It really was. And these commanded big money in super shots and egresses. Um, and, but obviously, Tammy did start the re re's early on. He started them in 2000, actually. But they were quite few and far between. And they did all the basic ones Grasshopper, Lunchbox, Hornet. Um, they did the XR311, that's not a basic car, uh, and Dynastorm, that was the really early ones. And then they have carried on, but there was. Uh, I think at that time we didn't know if we were going to see a lot of the, of the others, but obviously as we go we have, and as we're sat here today we're still waiting for King Cabs, Monster Racer, lots of other ones. So when th that's what makes this kit really special for me in fact i'd add the big wig to that as well i didn't think we'd see super shot big wig or the egress and basically how lucky are we now so that's why i hold this car in such high regard regard 
So this is the Riri, obviously, and this came out in 2000 on 2012, and I'll give you the part number, it's 58517. Um, these command more money than the original, not sorry, these command more money than the Riri Hotshot, and obviously we haven't seen a Hotshot 2 Riri yet. Um, and a lot of people, that puts a lot of people off, but um, you get a little bit more for your money, but... Um, it is just a more expensive car. Obviously, you're getting four shocks. The kit comes fully ball raced. And you also get, um, I, I was going to say a fancy GT tuned 25 turn motor. But uh, as we come into it, I brought the um, Technipower motor up that I have from my collection because the original came with that. And I think they missed a trick. But anyway, we'll talk about that later. So I'm not going to drag all the parts out and show you each piece of plastic. But we'll just go through quickly some very bits that I want to show you. Right, and as always, before we start, just a massive appreciation of the Tamiya box art. Superb, isn't it? That's, um, this is one box art. Obviously, I cut my boxes up after I've finished with them, and um, they will be on display at some point, the actual box art. But uh, this is one I really wanted. Um, I've got lots of them now, but I really did want the Super Shot. So obviously absolutely nothing flash about the box, it's all kind of just thrown in there, there's no um, um, vacuum packed bits or whatever. So as I said, I'm not going to show you everything, that's pointless, just the bits that I find interesting. So we've got this awesome body shell and what I love about it is they really went with um, a more aggressive bigger wing on the Super Shot than the other two variants. The body is very similar to Hot Shot as you would imagine but there are some differences, um, there's different lines to it and what have you. Um, yeah, but the, the wing for me makes it look very aggressive. And of course the standard to Super Shot came with the gold plated wheels, front and back. Just gorgeous. A lot of guys put the gold wheels on the original Hot Shot and it looks fantastic. But there is no other wheel you can put on a Hot Shot in box art that looks better than the, the kit ones. And then on those gold wheels we get the Super Spikes, Super Gripper Super Spikes. Uh, again with narrow fronts. What a tyre that is. Uh, I don't think it's a particularly great tyre to run, but um, as, a, as a show piece, especially because you can do the tyre writing all, almost all the way around the tyre, it just looks oh, badass. And then the 2012 decals. So there's, as usual with re there's a there's a couple of changes. Sponsorship things have changed and that. So it definitely would be worth me while getting an MCI sheet. But it is mainly for these two up here. So I'm guessing, I don't know if I get this the right way around. Yeah, the bigger ones for the wing. Now, obviously it says Super Hot Shot, whereas um, the original said Super Shot. Uh, and same on this one that goes just in front of a canopy. Things like these filter ones. Um, Joker, they've changed. I think the Promatic's different as well. As I say, it doesn't matter. You you, you build the re, re to full box art and it looks amazing anyway. So as I said earlier, the kit does come with a full bearing set, which is nice, and um, you get the TBL E02 speed controller with it as well. And you don't just get a 540 silver can. So this is a GT tuned, and it's a 25 turn open end bell motor. It's not, it's okay, it's way better than a silver can, obviously, but um, I think the 23 turn super stocks kind of show this motor up if I'm honest. I think you've got a minimum you've got to run this on 2S just to give it that little bit of oomph but it's way better than a standard motor. And this is the actual motor um, that came with the um, Super Shock kits. Now you obviously you didn't get this motor box with it, this, you only got this if you bought the motor separately. But um, yeah RX540 SD Technipower. And there she is, and she's, this one's in excellent condition. Um, so yeah, there's three of the Technigold sort of styled Mabushi motors, Technigold, Technipower and Technituned. This is a 20, let me get this right, this is a 23 turn single, as because the Technigold was a 21 single I believe. But I think this Technipower kicks out slightly more RPM than the Technigold, which is um, a little known fact to be honest. This is actually kind of the quicker of the three motors. And the Techni tuned that's that's got a lot less RPM than the other two. But as I was saying, if you think if we look at the Tamiya timeline on the re rays so this kit's 2012. In 2011, they brought the Avanti out and they put it's exactly the same motor as this, but they put a little bit more colour on it. 
and they put that fancy um, decal on the mortar, which obviously stated it was a 2011 Avanti, but it did have the almost Technigold sort of, um, or a nod to the Technigold decal on it. Um, and I'd have loved to have seen that with the Technipower, if it could have done exactly the same, maybe with a gold can and something similar to that sticker, just so it was a bit more of a special mortar. But as I say, they didn't do it on this one. But then when the big big wig came out, they did it on that one. I think big wig was about 2016, I think. So yeah, I mean it's not a gripe as such. It's still way better than a, as I say, a silver can. But I think it would have been nice if they could have maybe have done that. And that, my friends, is my Tamiya super hot shot. Um, I'm going to be building this very soon. Um, again, this is for my collection. But once it's built, we will get it out for a run. But we're in winter now, so it'll depend if we can get a clear day. Not, it's not going to be a great deal of fun running these in deep snow. But we'll we'll see. We'll get it out at some point. Um, I should really order the original reproduction decals for it from MCI Racing's website um, because one of the biggest things on the wing um, it says Hot Shot and the original it says Super Shot. There's a couple of other differences. But that's the big one. Well, there's one at the front as well, actually, just in front of the canopy. Um, but right now, I probably will go completely re-rebox that. Certainly going box that in the colour. Um, it's just an absolutely stunning looking thing. So that's pretty much it. Stick in the comments if you're a fan of this thing. Um, I don't think they run particularly well, if I'm honest. You know, it's, a, it's an old chassis. It's a very old design. It's got quite limited steering. But... Um, as a as a vintage design for me it doesn't get much better than this car it's it's awesome and you feel that while while you're driving it um so yeah that's pretty much it so once again just a massive thank you to Yaro RC for sponsoring today's video massively appreciated and don't forget as i say I, uh, the link to their website and our 5% discount promo code is in this video's description so yeah i'll end that video the, the I'll end that video here. So once again, my friends, thanks so much for watching. It is honestly massively appreciated. If you are new to this channel and this is the first video you've come across, if you could give it a thumbs up, uh, maybe hit that subscribe button. And if you do that, hit that notification bell for our weekly videos. That would be absolutely massively appreciated. And as always, my friends, the Tamiya Super Hot Shot 2012. Happy RCing.